Greetings everyone and welcome back to RimWorld Alpha 16 and of course the Town of Medusa's Raft. Now in this episode there are a number of things that I would really like to get done. First and foremost, we currently have a bit of a problem in that Yoko is assigned to the animal area which does not include any of our food areas and in fact another big problem in my mind is the fact that Yoko doesn't use her bed. That is her bed. No one else's bed, that is Yoko's bed, in Dark Avex's room. Well, Dark Avex and Miss Minnie's room, I guess, at the moment. But, that is all about to change. Uh, I'm just marking a couple of areas that already should be available to the animals, though. Really, there's certain places that the animals shouldn't be going. You know what, let's clear this up, shall we? Let's, let's clear up a lot of the places the animals shouldn't be going. Um, so, for example, this room, no reason for them to be in the research room. Absolutely no reason for them to be in the kitchen. I will allow them to go in the common room. There is no reason for them to be in the battery room either, or that room, to be fair. Uh, there will... Uh, don't need them in there either. I don't know what might be going up there. I'm going to allow them to wander in there, that's fine by me. Don't want them going into the prisoner room. Do not want animals going into Dark Avax room. From now on, that is restricted. You are allowed, however, to go into the guest room and, you know, just poop on their beds. Whatever you want to do. Maybe, maybe they'll find it endearing that they go in there and there's just a, a, a muffalo snoozing on the bed. Perhaps it'll make them feel more comfortable to, to know that we take such good care of our animals. I was joking about the pooping on the bed. That will be strongly discouraged. I, I don't think the whole rubbing their noses in their own poop ever helps, but it will be discouraged. Even if all we do to discourage it is simply not praise them for it, but praise them for everything else. They'll eventually learn. But... What I'm going to do next is make a new area. And this area is... Oh, no, actually, that was a new human area. New animal area. Rename Yoko. There we are. I want Yoko's area to be inverted. Now Yoko can go anywhere she likes. Except Yoko really shouldn't be going anywhere she likes. So let's just change that up a little bit. Yoko, I don't really want you going in here. That being said, that being said, you know what? I don't think that Dark Avak would have any issue whatsoever with Yoko eating some of his fancy yams. I think Yoko is literally the only being in this entire colony, and that does include Miss Minnie. The Dark Avak would have no problem with sharing his fancy yams with. Sometimes he might even do it. He just, you know, hunker down next to Yoko's bed. It's like, ah, so simple down here. All of that being up there on two legs, having to talk with people, stuff, it's just... Life is just so much more complicated, and just share his meal. And Yoko, they could just bond. That would be good times. So, that is now only available to Yoko. Oh, actually, what I will do is I will restrict Yoko from going in here. That way, Yoko really only does go and sleep in her bed. Fantastic! First job massively done. Now, you may notice that we still have not finished this room, and that is something that I consider a problem. Now, what we would like to do is run some power down there, I think. In fact, at that point, I want to get rid of that. Um, let's go ahead and open up in here, much the same way as we do over there, with two lights. I want this room to be reasonably well lit. I would also like some equipment racks, I think. Uh, we could have... Well, that's an odd number, so it makes it difficult. Uh, whereas this would actually be better. Well, we could do something like that. But I don't like having the, the lamp right behind, so maybe not. What I could do instead, though... Ultimately, I, w I would w want equipment racks in here so that I can sell off some of the equipment that we've got. Because we've got a lot of it. So we could do something like this. Um... And perhaps even have a little bit of extra room down here as well. Let's take this down three, four, because we can have some extra lights down there. So we'd have this nice little uh, equipment rack area for them to go through. Not sure about that little little area there. I think that actually does irritate me a little bit. So let's instead move that around. We could have... Oh... Silly, silly rooms with their being, uh, 
an odd number in width. That is quite, quite saddening. However, let's go ahead, reduce this. I could have some, uh, just a general storage area in here, perhaps. Something for art. Yeah, actually, I like that idea. I like that idea an awful lot. So let's go ahead and set that up. We'll have a little area there, and this should be restricted entirely just to art. Only thing I want. There we go. Now, let me actually just double check on something about this. I'm fairly certain that I recall that... Yeah, I'm fairly certain that these will actually... If you tell them to make until we have, it'll include plant pots that we place. So that doesn't work quite the way that I want it to work. Additionally, in here, we could afford to have maybe some freezers that I could store meals in. That would be for later down the line. Because right now, having food is much more important to me than selling it. Um, so we'll just allow that to all be built. And I think that will do us fine. We'll build the walls down around here. I'm thinking of maybe having an, an open doorway there. I think I like that idea, actually. We'll have an open doorway there leading in here. And we'll have extra dormitory space for our visitors. And I think that would actually work out quite well. Our visitors then would be able to gather from there. In fact, let me just double check my visitor zone. Guest zone. Yeah, from now on, my guests are not allowed in my freezer. If I want to sell them food, I'll make it explicitly available to them. But for, and unless I explicitly make that food available to, for them to get to, they're not allowed it. I will allow them through here, I guess. Actually, I'm going to clear this up. I don't I want them in there. Should I allow them access to my hospital? I guess so. I, I suppose there's no reason not to. Sure, okay. If I allowed them in there, they could literally buy whatever I had, which would include my steel, which I'm not happy about, so no. No on that one, I'm afraid. Ooh, we've found some steel. Well, that was particularly useful. Uh, though that is not going to be useful when I seal this off. Hmm, okay. Well, what I think I'm going to do first, run that down, run this across. I wonder. We'll see how big this is. If it's a, if it's a large vein, I might just mine into it from the side. We have one of your machines. Make sure a fuse is broken down. Really, a fuse broke down? Well, that's bloody perfect, isn't it? Oh, my lord. Alright, the next thing I would like is I would actually... Uh, how much of an area is this? Uh, it seems reasonable. Let's continue digging a little bit into the side. and we'll see what we can get. There we go. I would like power running down here. There we are. And the light's turning on. Okay, we're starting to get something now. Have we fixed up the power over here yet? I hope so. Not quite, unfortunately. Okay, yeah, this is a, this is a large vein of steel then. So we'll just dig all the way through. On that note, I actually wouldn't mind expanding this out a little bit because I would like to get some more fertilizer beds set up. Uh, is there anything else I'd really like to do here? There's a couple of things. Now, Veronicorn, you're not in the best shape, are you? Your nose has been cut off. Now, that, I think, means... Let me just double check. Yeah, that's not good. I'm fairly certain that minus 15 is because of the nose. Yeah, disfigured. And you were slighted. And it's generally this it's making everything worse with her interaction. So we're gonna we're gonna actually prioritize trying to fix that for her. Now the way we're gonna do that, the first thing we need is a basics prosthetics bench. Let's get this. Uh, actually, let's build that somewhere over here instead. Let's pop it right there. And get rid of that one. I would then like a lamp in here, please. I can go right there. And a... Yeah, sure, dining chair. That'll do. Pop that in there. Okay, we've got two lovely rooms now. So let's go ahead... Ooh, we've got visitors as well. I'm going to send this one to Nebula Bomb. And this one to Jaradan. Well done! You've just got a massive, massive upgrade. This can then become a prison bread. There we are. And, in fact, so can this one, actually. We'll make that one a prison bed as well. 
So we've now we've got three prison beds. A really bad one. That's where we're going to stick the ultra scallywags. And then two reasonable prison beds. Which hopefully people will enjoy. Right, where are these visitors then? Uh, let's go and have a look. Oh, it's just one person. Oh, that's fair enough. I don't mind that at all. Uh, Great River Covenant. What's our faction standing with them? It's actually pretty good. That will improve over time, thanks to any efforts we make with all of the... Oh, wow, that is actually a really big seam of, of steel. That's fantastic. Let's continue mining that out. But in the meanwhile, let's uh, seal it off as well. Right, Scorpion. Uh, Sleepy Joe, are you awake? Yes, you are. Can you go and have a trade with Scorpion, please? Right, what can I buy off you? Not a lot, actually. Have I got a lot of herbal medicine? I've got a reasonable amount. Uh, the wake up. I don't want to sell that because, obviously, it's going to mess with Miss Minnie something awful. Uh, however, I wouldn't mind getting rid of all the Deadman's apparel if I can. You can carry quite a lot of Deadman's apparel, I must confess. I am impressed. Uh, also, anything that is kind of just broken or anything that's awful. Ooh, okay, we don't want to do that. That is apparently way too much money. Mm, okay, that can go. There we are. Okay, I'm fine with that. Except, I'll just take the silver off you. There we go. Go ahead and prioritize holding that in. Thank you. Nebula bomb. How unfortunate. But what a guy. Nebula bomb's like, I'll get this work done. I'll get this work done or it'll kill me. I'll die trying. Well, then I approve. Dark Havoc approves as well. You're going to get a... Well, actually, you've already had an upgrade. This is why. You see, you treat your pawns well, and they will work hard for you. Well done, Nebula Lump. You are the pawn that we need. Alright, there we go. So, these rooms will now be temperature control, which is great. How are we doing for... Nah, see, awful. Let's have a look at the art. Uh, this work is a portrait of the desert. There is an ibis in the background. The overall composition is well balanced. It is gone, because it is awful. Devotion. This work bears the portrayal of a turkey being killed by a mega spider out of bleak necessity. Ah, yes, we've, we've already seen that one. Goodbye. Um, the sculpture shows a mountain that is a sea urchin near the edge of the image, with the cubist style of the central scene clashes with modern depiction of the background. It is awful. It needs to go. What are you? You're also awful. This carving bears the image of a plane. The image seems to ex express difficulty. Personified depiction of death sits in the lower part. Yep, gone. Uh, this is awful as well. On this work is a portrayal of a witch doctor sitting on a table holding a sledgehammer. I'd actually keep it for that one, but no. It's awful, so it's gone. This is poor. On this carving is an artwork of an empty spacesuit seen through a looking glass. The lower part of the image is dominated by a crag, and the work suggests the concept of terror. That, however, is good, and that is going in Nebula Bomb's room, which is now fantastically good. Uh, green untitled. This carving is shaped like other playing, uh, like otters playing cards. I want to keep it because of water ferrets, but no. Right, okay, we have now got a workbench. Can I make a denture, ear bandage, eye patch, hook hand, steel arm, peg leg? Damn it. Hmm. We cannot make what I need. That is unfortunate. I do really, 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 really badly need a new, um, new nose. That's going to have to wait, I'm afraid. Okay, right. Well, what I can do in here is I can at least make these rooms super lovely. Let's get them smoothed. Uh, Scorpion, how are, you, how are you doing so far, Scorpion? As a guest... Hospitality is super duper high. They're very, very ha happy with us. Very happy with us indeed. Mm. Escape pod. Let's have a look at you. Ayano. Let's have a see. Dumb labor, caring, social, scary, firefighting, jogger, careful, shooter, too smart. That's actually not bad. But you're incapable of pr pretty much anything good. I'm, I'm fairly certain that scary means they're incapable of fighting, though. Oh, actually, that might be violence. I'm not sure. But you're artistic. Ooh. And you're crafty. Yeah, sure, I can I can feed you for that. And if you are incapable of ever fighting, well, that sucks. But we'll see what we can do. Dark Abbott, go and rescue them, please. We're not going to capture them. We'll just rescue them and hope for the best. Frankly. 
Uh, right. Ooh. Research finished. Electric smelting. Okay. We're going to stop that there. Now, the reason why I'm stopping that there is I'm getting rid of this. I'm going to move this down. Uh, let's say about there. Move this over here. That's going to be room for our multi-analyzer. Once these are out of the way, I'm going to try and build a large research bench there. Jarjan worsened the relationship with the Scorp Scorpion. Oh, no. 71% chance of doing that? Really? Jaradan, you are no longer allowed to talk to people. Ever. Uh, entertain guests. Why? Why are you so bad? Ah, oh, damn it. You're... you're uh, it's not that Sleepy Joe's even that much better. Uh, I'll leave you on... No, I'm going to move that up to four. For those. El Young and Sleepy Joe, they can have it at a three. Yeah, they can have it at three. I mean, they've got to get better, ultimately. That was unfortunate. Really, animals? Are you still walking through this area? You really should not be. Oh, well, actually, yeah, I did say you could, didn't I? Well, we worsened it a little bit. There's a 55% chance. But that also means there's a 50... There's a 45% chance of us uh, improving it. So, you know, that's not too bad, ultimately. Uh, marriage is on. Miss Minnie has accepted Dark Avax's marriage proposal. At some point in the coming days or seasons, they will have their marriage ceremony and invite all of their colonists, and the cake will be made of people, and it'll be grand. Well done, Miss Minnie. I know that you have not yet been converted to the, the, the truth, the enlightened path that is devouring people to inherit their strength, or just as a mark of respect, but you've seen past it. Well done, you. It is good to keep an open mind. One day, though, one day, RimWorld will add in things where colonists just get used to stuff through exposure. Then everyone will be cannibals. Uh, we can but hope for that blessed day to arrive sooner rather than later. Now, will you please stop worsening our, our relationship with him? This is terrible. Uh, I mean, you know, it's, it's quite high. But, <laughs> damn it, they're just messing this up. They really do like it here, though. Our uh, interpersonal relationships are terrible, but they really, really do like it here. Uh, right, we want... Let's see. A high-tech research bench. Let's get that one right there. And also, a dining chair. Also, have we got any nice plant pots? Have we made any more nice plant pots? Have we got nice plant pots? I don't think we do. Uh, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, I'm actually going to cancel that work, and I'm going to cancel that work as well. You can do what you need to do. I'm going to cancel... Hmm. Uh, Dark Abbot, really? You're crafting some clothes? Oh, okay, fair enough. Oh, you're okay there. Just happily, happy in Dark Abbot's room once again. Everything is just right place. Right. Okay, let's see. Hell Young also worsened it, but, you know, much better chance at this point. This is from the Grey Covenant of Leaving. Scorpion absolutely enjoyed his stay. He left you an Arctic fox skin desert head wrap. I wish that message would have stayed up there a little bit longer. But okay. Wow, you left a lot of them. Okay. And, okay. <laughs> you left some of the stuff that we sold to you. I find that amusing. You paid us and then gave it back to us. I was selling it to you to get it out of my inventory. But I, I appreciate the gesture all the same. I'm not going to turn it down. That would be rude. All right, okay then. Well, what I would like to do here is set this place up properly and actually have a... Um, yeah, we're going to have a wall running along so I can run power through this. Let's go ahead and set that up right along there. And at that stage, I am going to want to get some more floors and run some path along this area. I will have these either side and something like this. Path in there, there. And of course, you know what's coming next. We're going to have some torches. Just because I really like the aesthetic. And then we'll build a wall. There we go. That's going to look amazing. Right, the next thing I would like is power running along here. Hook that up and run that along. 
I'm going to have the, the next battery set up over there, I think. I think that'll be the best place for it. Now, how much more do we need for this? Ooh, we need a lot of components. Do we have any components around the map? Components, components. You know what? I really should take the time at some point to just look at the map and find all of the places where I can mine stuff, even if I don't do it. Just so that I know where to go to immediately if I need that stuff in the future. Uh, oops, that's a little bit too much. They're usually in... Well... You do sometimes get a 2 by one but you usually get a 2 by 2 so that's why I tend to hit uh, the mining layer by 2 by 2 and ultimately if you're just digging up two bits of rock unnecessarily, it's not exactly that much of a waste of time. You know what I would like, though, is I would like to make sure there's no roof going back there. Actually, no, no, no. I want a roof going back there. There we go. Uh, we also want a roof going up there for definite. However, here... I wouldn't mind getting another compost bin. We'll get get just two more for now. And I want more taters. Lots more taters. There we go. It's a service well. Yeah. Charizard has gotten food poisoning from a simple meal. Well, that is not good. We've not got that many simple meals. And that is worrying me a little bit, I'll be honest with you. Uh, it's starting to, to get to me a bit. Super Joe is training Yoko. Let's have a look, Yoko. Where are you? There you are. What's your training like at the moment? Oh, you're getting close. Soon Yoko is going to be able to help us with our hauling, which is grand. You know what? I don't need this. Oh. A Glitter World officer named Ayano that you rescued is very grateful for her rescue and would like to stay at your colony. Her trait, jogger, careful shooter, and too smart. Accept her. Welcome to the colony, Ayano. This is good times. Good times indeed, but what I was about to do is I'm going to turn off the fuel generator. We don't need that running right now. Ayano, let's have a look at you then. Got a little bit of food poisoning, but generally you're going to be okay. Your age is 57. Eh, that's not great. You're 605 years old chronologically, though. Ye gats. Um, in terms of your needs, you're fairly good. Got low expectations. You're amazing there. Right, let's actually have a look. Test subject. On the most corrupted herb world, scientists without a moral compass commit unspeakable atrocities in the name of research. Ayano was kept alone in the sealed facility from birth and subjected to a variety of behavioral experiments in an attempt to turn her into the perfect super soldier. Plus four sh shooting, minus four social, incapable of negotiating, wardening, doctoring, or firefighting, and then was a glitter world officer. Though glitter worlds are peaceful places, they often remain prepared for war. Ayano's unit rarely saw any real action. Though she pursued her artistic hobbies, her subordinates preferred to entertain themselves by brawling. So Ayano got good at breaking up fights. Melee plus six, artistic plus four, plant cutting disabled, hauling disabled, and cleaning disabled. So what is scary? Maybe, maybe that is things like fire. She just won't even go near it or something. Because it doesn't make any sense that someone who's basically made it into a super soldier would be terrible at fighting. But Ayano is very, very much welcome to the colony and is in fact one of the better artists we got and then on that note we're going to wrap up this episode i hope you've enjoyed it we'll be joining us in the next where we're going to find out who ayano really is but until then do remember to like if you liked sub if you haven't and i'll see you next time take care everyone